Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're talking about The Giver, Chapter 8, The Ceremony, finally, of the Twelve, and especially this part, Jonas being called up. And uh, it starts with the Chief Elder, <laughs> I remember this time, the Chief Elder apologizing. And she says, hey, audience, uh, I know I've given you some anxiety. I'm sorry. I apologize. And then the audience says, we accept your apology. And then she looks at Jonas, says, Jonas, I apologize to you because I've called, caused you anguish. I'm sorry. And Jonas is like, I accept your apology. He's kind of shaken up, right? And then she... Um, proceeds to tell everyone oh Jonas come on up to the stage she says Jonas wasn't um uh what what did they say what was the language she used uh, Jonas wasn't um assigned he was selected something like that and she says that um Jonas is going to be the new receiver of memory and everyone goes <gasps> And they're all kind of shocked. And uh, the chief elder talks about 10 years ago, we had chosen a receiver of memory, but we chose wrong. And that um, it didn't work out with that receiver. And this time, they couldn't afford to make another mistake. They had to pick the right person. And that person, they believe, is Jonas. And then she goes into why she thinks, um, you know, that, that this isn't a mistake. That, that this was a, a decision that all the members of the council had to make. Every member had to be certain that it was Jonas. And that, um, that really, it was so important that they couldn't, if they made a mistake, uh, something really bad would happen. And so... So there's no mistake in their decision that they believe that Jonas qualifies to be the next receiver of memory. And then she goes into those qualities. She says um, the receiver of memory has to be intelligent. Jonas is intelligent. The receiver of memories uh, has to have integrity, I think. And Jonas apologizes quickly when he does something wrong. The receiver of memory has to be, have courage. And, uh, you know, they think that Jonas will have courage and that courage is really, really important for the receiver of memories. And the re receiver of memories is going to experience a lot of pain, a lot of physical pain that none of the community can knows or experience before. But Jonas will have to experience it. Um, Jonas is going to need wisdom, which he'll learn. And then uh, the last one here is Jonas, or the receiver of memories, needs to be able to have the ability to see beyond. Well, what does that mean? We have no idea. And Jonas is like, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't know what's going on. I need to apologize. And he looks over at the, cl at the crowd of people and whoa, something changes. That same thing when he had the apple. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what was it? I, I don't know, but Jonas says, yes, yes, I, I think I have that. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's seeing beyond. And uh, then, you know, the, the chief elder says, Jonas, thank you for your childhood, walks away, and everyone in the, congr in the community starts clapping, and they start saying, Jonas, 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 Jonas. And for Jonas and, and the community, it's like this new life has been um, been given or created just like with the, with the name ceremony. With the other na um, assignments, they just clapped and said, you know, congratulations and stuff like that. But for Jonas, they repeated his name like he was being born again into the community and Jonas feels a lot of pride feels really special and important but at the same time he's like what in the world did I get into and that is how the chapter ends um some vocabulary words here not quite as many as before but quite a few kinship is first one kin 
is another um, kind of term for family. So kinship is a feeling like family. So all the elevens um, have a kinship. They've been growing up together. They kind of feel like family. Vibrant is um, kind of a, with energy or excitement or life. Benign is um, caring, good. Um, I think as she apologizes, they feel, oh, she she's very um, kind or generous. Shakily, uh, uh, Jonas imagined himself walking on stage confidently, but now he's like, oh, walking, uh, move your foot, come on. His emotions and body are so shocked. Um, Jaunty is kind of confidently, the way he was planning to walk is a uh, carefree. A few more. Um, in indolence i not actually sure how to pronounce this word i had to look it up myself indolence um but in any case it means um not using your time well being lazy being idle um being you know too carefree and the chief elder says you know when we look at a child we see someone that has energy and fun and we think that person might be good as a nurturer, but that could mean that they're just lazy or that they don't have energy or they don't want to do anything. And that's this indolence. Unanimous means everyone agreed 100%. I think you already know this word, but I wanted to put it up here because I find it's a very hard word to pronounce just by looking at it. You, unanimous rather than you'd think unanimous, something like that. But it's unanimous. Flutter is kind of a, a quick shaking movement. Um, if you think of butterfly, we call a butterfly flutters its wings, right? Kind of moves quickly and then glides. So um, Jonas's heart ooh, fluttered or his stomach. The discussion question I have for you is, uh, there's so many to ask, but in the beginning, I just thought, would you accept the elder's apology? I mean, the elder could have stopped. Uh, okay, no, 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 I'm, I'm not even going to say anything. I don't want to confuse your minds. But would you accept the elder's apology? And uh, I can't wait to discuss that question with you. Of course, please write your own discussion question. Now, would you accept it if you were Jonas? Maybe too if you were in the community, but especially if you were Jonas, would you accept the elder's apology? That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.